Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name is Tim. Just got back home. Long day spent on the water today. It was glorious. And I ended up putting together a couple solid patterns to catch some largemouth bass at a local lake. Let's dive into how we caught them. 99% of the time when I'm fishing right away in the morning, I'm gonna be throwing a topwater bait. A lot of times I'll be throwing a frog or a buzz bait. Usually one of those two. There are other baits I like, but something about a frog and buzz bait, you can cover a lot of water fairly quickly. So I started off by throwing a little booyah buzz bait. This guy right here, nothing crazy. I believe it's a quarter ounce. It's either quarter ounce or three eighths ounce. Throwing that on my loose reel, being able to make super long casts. I was not actually casting to the bank a whole lot. This lake is, it's drawn down a little bit from lack of rain we've had. So instead of casting right on the bank like I traditionally like to do in the morning, I was casting to some of the trees and timber that was a little further off the bank that you guys will kind of see in the footage. So ended up catching my biggest bass of the day doing that. Ended up getting a couple other bites. And as soon as the sun came up, as soon as uh, it got brighter out, that's when I kind of transitioned to something else. But yeah, got some good footage of some blow ups. Let's, let's check out how that ended up going. It's a nice one. Decent one. Keeper. Hello, good sir. Nice one. It's a decent one. Another good one. All right. Choke that buzz bait. Beautiful. Small guy. I'll take him. Bass keeper. Chunker. Once the sun came up, I transitioned to fishing a plastic in the trees. This lake traditionally has a bunch of weeds, but I think it's a combination of the warm water temperatures along with the lake being drawn down. There's very few weeds that are actually in the water. So in my eyes, the fish have two options for cover. They're either gonna be in the trees or they're gonna be on rock. So I started off by fishing trees. I went back in one of the creek arms, uh, started flipping some trees, didn't get anything right away. I finally got a bite, kept going down the bank, kept going down the bank. Uh, not essentially fishing the trees right on the bank, but fishing ones that were in five to six foot of water. That seemed to kind of be the sweet spot for me today. And uh, eventually I got to an area that had a bunch of stumps kind of together. And I didn't really think there would be too many fish there because there was a lot of cover, but 
I ended up catching three or four there, and then I hopped to the other side, and I actually caught about a dozen bass off of a single tree in five to six foot of water. Never done that before. That was incredible. It was like practically back-to-back -back pitches. Just let it get to the bottom, work it back, and there would be one on it. The fish weren't huge. The biggest ones I caught doing that were two and a half pounds, but definitely made for some fun footage. It was incredible to just go pitch after pitch catching some bass. So let's check that out. That's a good one. Nice one. Thank you, sir. Take that guy. One. Joker. Oh, that's a nice one. Looks bigger in the water, but he's decent. Thought he's bigger, but Got another two and a half. Thank you. 
stacked in there. <laughs> Last portion of the day, I, I ended up going further north on the lake, trying to expand on my little flipping pattern with the trees. I got one here, got one there. Didn't really feel super confident about it because um, I tried some new areas that I hadn't fished that day. And traditionally on this lake, I fish pretty close to the shore and have success. But since the lake is lower, once again, um, I didn't really feel confident fishing some of that further offshore stuff. So made my way back down towards the boat ramp, kind of. Um, I knew where a couple rock piles were. So I kind of dropped my trolling motor, scanned over top of it with my side imaging. I don't have a crazy fish finder. I just have a Helix 7, just a basic one. But I could have sworn I saw a big school of fish literally on the right side of my boat, like 10 feet off the boat. So I cast my little plastic worm parallel to the boat and I immediately got a large mouth that was about two and a half pounds. So kept fishing, kept fishing. Uh, for some reason, I decided to pick up a crankbait and as soon as I caught one on the crankbait, I ended up just like firing up a group of five or six bass and there was actually a walleye mixed in. So that was pretty cool to figure out. Um, it was a really shallow rock bar, maybe, maybe 10, 20 yards off the bank. It was only in like four or five feet of water, but a lot of fish were on it. They were pretty aggressive. You caught one, you would definitely catch two or three or four or more. Um, so that was definitely something new for me. I've never found before, never experienced, but definitely some fish on rocks. There were fish uh, further along the bank in a little deeper water on a rock point. Uh, but yeah, it was another solid technique. So let's kind of see how those catches went. That's a nice one. Like that. Chunk. There he is. Oh, I had him. Shoot. Oh, maybe I was lying. I don't know. One of the two. We'll find out. Let me get back in there. There he is. Wiper. No largemouth. Nice. Take that. Got a pod of them in here, folks. All right. Oh God, got another one. Oh, a decent one. Got him fired up now, oh boy. Stay put, Willie. Jesus, criminy, there, turned up. How big are you? All right, that's a good one. That's a good looking bass, let's fire back in there. Never had this happen before. <sighs> Took it off the bait. Took it off the tree. There we go. How big are you? Walleye. Nice one. 
this wall I'm next in. <laughs> All right, that's a wrap on the footage. Triple prong approach once again worked out pretty darn well. I think moving forward, I kind of need to simplify my tackle situation. I usually carry seven or eight rods on my deck, trying to figure out what the fish are biting on. And I tend to go back and forth between them pretty quickly throughout the day. But as you can tell from the footage, I ended up getting quite a few bass today. Again, the combination of the top water, a bottom pitching bait, and then a crank bait, that definitely was able to cover all the cover essentially in the lake and it ended up working out pretty well so hope you enjoyed the video guys got a tournament coming up on saturday looking forward to fishing that getting more coverage for you but again today was just a fun day on the water looking to catch a bunch of fish maybe learn a couple things but all in all it was a great day thanks for watching everybody we will see you soon